start a new game. I hope you guys are ready because holy crap. The park is a narrative experience best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be, what, tampered with? Was that what the rest of that said? Are you kidding me? Should I play with the lights off, guys? Should I turn the lights off? What do you think? Your call. Should I play in the dark? Or should I leave it like this? Your lights are off? Oh boy. Yes, lights off. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Ooh. Bear? I'm all bloodshot. And I stuff. haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Callum? She has an axe necklace. Or is that a hatchet? Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. What is with the pants, by the way? They are like so fucking far up her. Am I. Can I. Not play the game? Oh, do I have- no. Hmm. No. How do I? How do I play you? I can't use the mouse. W-A-S-D? No. No directional buttons? Spacebar? Enter? What am I? What am I? How do I? Did it freeze? I think the game froze. <laughs> I think the game froze. <laughs> Hang on. Uh. Let's, um. Okay. Everything should be okay. Why is this? This game does not uh, cancel. Whoa! Oh, okay. The mouse works. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Okay. See the, the game's kind of glitchy. Okay. So first of all, I'm gonna turn the lights off. So. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna shut the light off. Can I think I can reach with this plugged in, so hang on. Hang on. Alright. We are in the darkness. Can you see me still? Or am I dark too? Am I dark too? I'm kind of dark. I'm not too bad though. Seems like you guys can see me, so. All right, continue. All right, we're all in the dark now, guys. This is official. The, we're gonna get really spooky and stuff up in here now. So what are my controls? Like, can I run? No, no running, no running. Hi, Callum. I don't know what kind of name that is, but this is a very old station wagon. And, uh, judging by the rest of the cars, I'm going to say that this is like a very old-fashioned kind of, not old-fashioned, but I'm going to say we're in the 80s or something. Oh my god, this is going to take me 10 years to walk to freaking. Attention, park. patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Drink bingo. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Okay. Then why am I going to ask for information? Did I arrive to the park too late? Is that what happened? Press A to interact with objects in the world. Okay. What's with all the hippie vans? What's going on here? 
Examine Lack. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. Dedicated 1st of May, 1997, James B. Longley. So this is the 70s. 70s, 80s? I'm going to say 70s. Okay, so we're in the 70s. Oh, oh. What? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, look at those pants. Oh. Hey, those Lorraine. Those pants. Lorraine. Yes? Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! Oh, great. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. You think? You just told him to stop, you think? Hey. Hey, you. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not- we're not done here. Hey. Alright then. Can I just go in any of these? Press B to shout to Callum. Shouting provides audible and visual clues to guide you. Okay. Wait for mommy, Callum! Over here! Wait for mommy, Callum! Over here! Let's read this flyer. Ooh, Atlantic Island Park. Chad the Chipmunk! I knew it was a chipmunk. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Solomon Island, I fell deeply in love with its natural beauty. It's a scenic place and I created many of my best memories here. Blah, 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 blah. I invite you to this park. Try the Tunnel of Tales for a gentle family-friendly retelling of timeless fairy tales. If that's a little too slow, grab an adult. Grab and, yeah, grab and jump on the bumper cars. Full throttle fun for everyone. For the teens. The Octotron. Defy laws of gravity on our award-winning roller coaster. And the House of Horrors. Oh, great, there's a House of Horrors. Wh why wouldn't there be in a scary game? Um, yeah, I did hear the game is short, so I'm going to take time and I'm going to kind of explore things and stuff. We're going to soak it all in. We're not going to rush through it. So we're going to drink bingo. We're going to go meet Chad the Chipmunk, and we're going to go ride the Octotron, okay? So th this is the plan. Um, the big ones take a romantic spin on the Ferris wheel with your significant other and take in the natural beauty of Solomon Island. Oh, we got a couple places to eat, lobster trap, places to sleep. Cool. Got a lot of shit to do here. Is that all that's around here? Whoa. Nathaniel Winter welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. He's fucking creepy. Like, really fucking creepy. Callum, where are you going? Come on, this There's way! There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. <laughs> it's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have then a safe home. home. Why am I in here if it's closed? What is going on? supposed to descend down in the hell, not up in the hell. Oh, great, great. Oh, God. The park. What happened here? Oh, but I don't want to fight down either. Oh. R1. Hooray. Wait for 
for mommy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You can't catch me. Fuck you, kid. Come back here. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. You're grounded. That's it. Callum! Taking all your Pokemon cards away, actually. Oh, Pokemon wasn't invented back then. Oh boy. Callum. Where are you? Catch me, mommy. I'd love to. Is that him right there? No. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. This way, mommy. I'm trying. I don't know where you are. I can't find you. Callum! Oh. Where did you go? Oh, why is why is the screen all warpy? Stop! Callum! Oh, is that the visual cue thing? Oh, oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Salmon shoe! I think this belongs to Calm. You think? Who else would it belong to? Oh boy. Please don't jump out and scare me. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. Sideshow Alley, 1 p.m. The Octatron, 3 p.m. Park Entrance. Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob. That's brutal. Are you gonna kill me, Chad? I have a feeling you're probably gonna kill me. Like, I have a feeling like you are the enemy of this game. What the fuck is that? Hang on, I gotta turn this up. What the fuck is that? I wonder what this is. Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance, I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the... Soil here is bitter, with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible, dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place. And the... or they? They will see to that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Great. It's... Oh. I don't know why I suddenly ran. Oh, R1 toggles running. So I could just run, or I can just always walk. So I don't have to hold it. That's cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. This game is really dark. Oh, oh. Okay, here's a map. Whoa. Here's a. Come on, mommy. Oh. Oh, did he just get on the ride? I was just gonna look at the map. Fuck. How do I? Oh boy. Oh boy. Unnerving sounds. It is so dark. Like. Callum, stay where you are! Like, there's no brightness setting as far as I know. Oh boy, we're gonna ride the swan, huh? So we gotta follow him? I guess we gotta follow him. Oh boy. Is this supposed to be a romantic ride, or...?
Like, can I pause this? Let me, let me check the settings real quick. Because I feel like this is really fucking dark. But it doesn't look like I can adjust anything. Ultra high. Just do it auto. No, there's, there's like no... Yeah. Oh well. Ooh. So I guess we're just... Riding the swan. Ooh. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Oh god. Yeah, you know what? Um, I might adjust the gamma. Now that you mention it. Sorry about the constant. Constant delays. Maybe that'll be a little better? Oh yeah. That looks like a little better. Let's put a little bit more so we can see what we're doing because this is a really dark game. Okay. Now let's continue. What will become of us? That should be better the woodcutter for everyone. asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow Ooh. and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Oh boy. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Is that Clever how the fairy Hansel goes? leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. What a bitch. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. What? What's going on? What the fuck? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. That sucks. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. And they died. The end. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Don't eat walls, kids, okay? It's not a good thing. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. Hansel and Gretel stayed back, 
for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. can't turn mother. anymore. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. A the blade. old woman offered them two enormous you. lollipops. Oh. The children Better. took them and began to eat. And then died. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside. The old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Eh, can't. Ah! What the fuck? Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful. The old witch told Gretel, Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Are you saying my brother's fat? So that's Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? <laughs> Fool! I am the an idiot! Said, the opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Pretty hardcore, actually. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I don't remember that part. I don't remember that part. Not at all. Holy fuck! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, hi. So where is my son? Alan, where did you go? Alan, why did you go? I think I was supposed to say that in the tunnel because Yeah. <laughs> that was echoey. Achievement unlocked. Swan's gingerbread and chocolate. Fuck you, Swan. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. All right. I guess she walks when she talks because you can't do both. Because why not? I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of following the trail. So hopefully this trail is the right trail. What's that up ahead? Another accident. This place. Callum, come back here right now! Oh boy. <laughs> my, my son's the devil, isn't he? Oh god. There 
there's a knife through the bear's eye and there's blood in the passenger seat. Okay. Cool. Teddy's dead. Everything's fine. Was that supposed to be an owl or something? I don't know. Do I hear music? Oh, hi. I'm afraid to move. I think I'll walk. <laughs> I'm afraid something's gonna jump out at me. That is music. It's like carnival music. Oh, look, there's the Ferris wheel. Dude, is that the Octatron? Can I just ignore finding my son and ride every ride? Unless it's gonna kill me, of course. Then I don't want to ride it, but... Onward! I feel safe suddenly! To the Octatron! This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. <laughs> make me dizzy. Examine report. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Atlantic Island Park incident. Officer on duty, Sheriff F. Bannerman. Witness name Creed Norma. Or Norma Creed, because it was last name first. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Me too. <laughs> me too. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or lion, but as more and more... Sorry. As more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little faster, like you were prey, and that the thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up, and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Ugh. Great. When do I get to see the ice sculptures, huh? Must be amazing. How do I get into this ride? Through here, I suppose. Through here. Ride Octotron. Ooh. 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 Who wants to throw up? This is how we do it. Ooh. Alright. I guess to ride it, I gotta go and decrease it. Alright. Ooh. Maybe that'll work. I can't get on while it's moving. I can't get on while it's moving. I can't get on while it's moving. Are you serious? You can't jump on that thing? Alright. Okay, okay. There we go. I was gonna say, come on, it's gotta be slow enough now. Ooh! Ooh! This would be a really cool VR game. Oh! 
Oh! What was that? weapons or anything like do I even fight in this game or do I just that's it that sucked okay <laughs> okay what was that I don't want to ride the Octotrod. I want to go away from the Octotrod. That is eerie as fuck. I don't even know what the hell it's saying, but there's a Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Huh. Ugh. Look at her face! Look at her face! She's just like... <laughs> oh my god! A face! A wonderful face! Um, could I like... No? Okay. Doesn't look like there's... Hello! Over here. Where was that? Callum? Oh god. Devil child. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled red bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Is there someone in there? Oh shit, there is. Do you see her? Oh god. This is a trap. This is a fucking trap. Should I read it? This is a trap. You you say should I read it, or should I say, fuck this shit, and leave? <laughs> I'm pretty scared, too. <laughs> we have to go in if it's a trap. <laughs> Words to live by. Okay, like reading. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See? Even I am starting to call him Chad. And I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit in the beginning. It was a laugh. Steve the local lush, as Chad the chipmunk child-friendly mascot Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. That's eerie. Is he a furry? Is that is that the definition of a furry when you become like so obsessed with like big costumes like that? Like animal costumes? But then I saw him at 
Susie's diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in a gutter outside the sick oil station, because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring back at me, sizing me up, eye-fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Henman. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We're live. We're fucking alive. Wait for mommy. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait for Bobby, would you? Wait for Bobby. Fuck, man. <sighs> Dear God. What is that? Dragon? Callum, tell mommy where you are. Yeah. No, let's not go in. I'm not going in. Fuck that shit. No. No. <laughs> I'm not going in. Screw that. Every time I walk by those things, I, like, can hear stuff ever so subtly. Like, I think... I think I heard Callum in that. Hello? Oh, that's Constant totally... crashes and 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Oh look, could I could I use this? No. Okay. Hi. Oh. Oh. What have I done? Is that get electrocuted? What the hell? Callum! Can't you read that? No! You're grounded! Get back here! Okay. How do I ride this? Can I ride? No, there's like nothing to operate it. Do I just walk through it? Maybe? an answer, Callum. You need to go back to kindergarten. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Okay, now what? Oh, is it this one? Stop, Callum! Oh. <laughs> the one with the lights on, derp. Oh, there's an accident report on the bumper car. Great, let's, let's read that. Employee names Francis Dufresne. Dufrini? 
to free to Frez to Fresni I don't know Francis uh, October 25th 1976 laborers working on the crane supervisor Richard Stapleton witnesses Lawrence Creed Michael Edgeworth Lawrence Creed D didn't the Creed come up before another Creed name um, during the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Francis was killed. Uh, did the injured employee see a doctor? Yes. If yes, did you file an employee's portion of the workers' compensation? Yes. Supervisor's comments. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. Because <laughs> they think they're crazy. What could have been done to prevent this? Double checking the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. Additional comments. The local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I can't move. Oh, uh Afraid. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, don't be afraid. Oh god. I hear cats and babies. That means that means someone followed me and I might have given birth. I, I don't know. I, I I scared the shit out of me. Maybe my shit is a baby. And it cries. I don't know. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Oh great. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. That's not a good thing to do. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. Well, you don't leave your kid in the car. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. So you got electrocuted for leaving your kid in the car? Okay. I'm really jumpy now. Is something gonna jump at me when I read this page too? Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders, the problem is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the, back ma the black magic. Of course that is why. I chose this site over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local ac academy, academy, I almost said academy, to see if they had any interesting books about local history. It turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I'm missing. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen this many jump scares since Until Dawn either. Okay, I'm gonna back out of it and hopefully nothing jumps out at me. Okay. Alright. I, 
guess we gotta go on this now. This is a really loud ride. I don't think it's supposed to be this loud. Into the Ferris wheel, guys. Okay. Oh. Oh, that thing stays open the whole time. That's not safe. That's not safe at all. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. <sighs> Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't Hope know how not. to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Of course he did. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Why are we in this then? Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Oh god. Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm riding a scary Ferris wheel. And I'm waiting for something to happen. controlling the riot. Alright. Cool. Awesome. It's so fucking creepy. And suddenly it stopped making noise. Well, it stopped running too, so I guess that's why. Where are you? Callum! I hear baby. Baby? Baby? Uh oh. I hear baby. I don't wanna. Oh, don't say it's a torturing ghost cloud. Why are these things over here? That's that's from that. Uh, is it missing any or are these spares? I don't even know. Why is that smoking white? Oh boy. There's gonna be somebody in there, isn't there? Oh no. I don't wanna. Should I just run in and, and grab it? Or should I take my time? Or... G give me an option, guys. 
What should I do here? You decide. Yet. That's, that's the key. Yet. It doesn't mean that no one is. It just means no one has yet. Be fast. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Too much pressure. I can't do this. Alright. I guess I'm going to take my time. Because two people said take my time. So... Oh god, it's a doll. Oh god. I don't wanna... Oh, there's a ticket! Haunting me and, and your Satan son. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. Oh. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Oh, wow, that took a turn. Holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. Birth control, anybody? Because there you go. That's some good old-fashioned birth control right there. Oh, boy. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Oh, boy. This is like riding all of the amusement park rides at Silent Hill in Silent Hill 3. This is exactly what that is. Okay. Are you in there? Are you gonna... No? Stay where you are! Oh boy. Are you in there? Oh yeah, you are. Hi! What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. Oh my fucking mean? god! What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. I'm being raped. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we it's stand out of for. Hand. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son Shit. is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... Just leave me alone. Go away. Fool. You always were. Oh god. I'm gonna die.
your hands up. We just hit our kid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, lots of drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. Oh my god. Alright. To the next ride, I guess. How many rides are there? I don't remember from the pamphlet. I probably should have memorized the pamphlet, but I don't remember how many rides there were. Oh god, no. 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 I don't like where this is going, no. The witch awaits. Great. I have a flashlight. So that probably means... Callum has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him! I've asked him. Demanded, really. To know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing, too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me! Who's they? I can save him. There will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. Oh boy. I don't like where this is going. Oh shit. Great. Great. Yeah, we're doomed. What was that? This is gonna be another jump scare, guys. I feel it. I need to go whack a jack. Put your balls in your mouth to win great prizes. No. Oh god. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in park goers' mouths. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse is yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. Ooh. The corporate was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their co condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on the story going forward. Are you eating cotton candy right now? That is so freaking ironic. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh at your demise, but that's funny. And I'm afraid to like back out of this because I feel like there's going to be another jump scare. Whoa, 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 what, what's going on? What's going on? Whoa.
Why is there blood? Did you hear that? Shit. Callum? Callum! Follow the breadcrumbs. What breadcrumbs? I don't see any breadcrumbs. I don't see breadcrumbs. Actually, I gotta go feed Cooper. So take a five minute break, collect yourself, breathe a little bit, okay? Breathe a little bit. I'll leave this like this. And I'll be right back, okay? Just breathe. Just breathe. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Cooper has been fed. He is a very happy kitty. And I still am pretty scared, even though I just kind of walked away for a minute. But <sighs> welcome back to whoever left and came back. And thank you. Thank you. I kind of don't want to continue. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really nervous. I'm not even going to lie. Like my, my hands are so cold. They're so numb from being nervous. Um, <sighs> you guys got to help me through this because holy shit. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready to, to, to keep going with this? All right. <laughs> Chubby guy doing pom-pom girl dancing. Oh my God. That instantly makes me feel better. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. I'm not. What are you scared of? Everything. Callum, where are you? Don't let the witch put me in the oven. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Left or right, guys? Left or right? Come back! Left or right? Left? Anybody else? I don't like the sounds. Three left, 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 left. All right. Not. The fuck is that? I can help you, Callum. Oh. Come back. Something here? No. Not safe. Oh, there's blood over there. Oh, was this his breadcrumbs? Oh, shit. Callum? Callum! Don't let him take me! Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Oh, shit. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Dead body. Mommy, I'm scared! Me too. Deal with it. Uh... <laughs> if it's this, keep out or stay safe, we go in. Silent Hill logic. Yep. God. <sighs> I'm so scared, like you have- no idea right now. No, you know what's gonna happen? Someone's gonna be behind me. I know this shit. I, I've played enough games to know this shit. Someone's gonna be behind me. Mm. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck This fuck isn't you. a game, Callum! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? Alright. Is he gonna jump? Is something... No? Oh god, someone's gonna be behind me, guys. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh god! Oh god, it's the chipmunk. Do 
I look right at him? Or do I look down or what? what? This is my safe zone right now. It's the floor. Door? Door? Everyone says door. So one person says look at him. Look at him. Okay, we're tied. Kiss him. Well, that's kind of looking at him, right? Fuck. He needs a hug. Shit, guys. You suck. On that there wasn't there before. This just feels like a really trappy area. Like pickled punks? Like what is that? What is this? Take pills? Last I knew you don't take pills from a creepy carnival area. The, these are mine. I bet they are. Oh, she's got a tattoo of her fucking boyfriend, husband. <sighs> Whoa. <sighs> are you better off than you were four years ago? 1980s. All that you love will be carried away. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. Say no to graffiti. Only dead fish follow the stream. Your mother? Clearly she has high standards. Not safe, the league. I can taste your dreams? Sharita Bannerman is a fat pig, but his daughter is hot. Fuck gravity. Destroy reality? Fear the boogeyman. I stopped picking your nose then. Don't believe anything they tell you? Oh god. Oh lord. We're high, guys. I'm oh lord. Uh. Whoa. Whoa! Everything's floating. Oh, what's that? Oh god. Don't leave me here, Calm. What's going on? What do I do? Ooh! Teddy bears! Calum, I'm sorry. I should be going. Don't touch me! Don't leave me here, Callum! I can't... Where am I going? Oh, Lord. Was that what we read earlier? Oh. Future Times by Laurel and Howdy. Belly Button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every seventeenth child is a magnet for sinfulness made ominescent by broken fires in the coastal strain. We don't believe that the earth belongs to battered goats and shamrock after birth. Only the truly naked wrens of righteous indignation are severed by war-crossed cleavages in trust exercise arrhythmia. Beaumont will come to the island bearing the talisman and will and he will shatter the seals that bind the orp orpathy of corruption? 
Only then will priests shoot, sluts reveal, housewives pontificate, and delayed messiahs make access for the rescue of Tango and Cash. What the fuck is this? Sweet the temptress who grips the shaft, twists the shaft, absconding the third age. Te tears into fourth age darkness while gods lie writhing on the shattered face of the earth. Gala has sweetness and grace, but her days are numbered, and heavy fisted hives break before frozen walls, and celegraphic actresses in pencil and paper pornography. What the fuck am I reading? The all seeing eye will provide decade long updates on this story going forward. Is that, like, the high version of, like, what I just read? Is that what that is? Like, what the fuck is going on? What's with all these floating things? Ooh! I just sent that thing flying. That's cool. Pickled pugs! Oh, I can't do that. I wanted to send that flying, too, but I guess I can't. I guess I'm... Leaving? I'm leaving? Yes, maybe. Oh. Oh god, no. <gasps> this game just took a really fucking dark, depressing turn. Like out of nowhere. Whoa. Okay then. Oh. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, Ew. the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. She's talking about that. Come back! Don't let him take me! Oh man. Oh, man. I don't want to go in the haunted house. Yeah, the mouth. Harry Killian is Satan's whore. I take it her name is Carrie? Alright guys, it's been fun. We're probably gonna die. <laughs> I don't want to. This is why we got the flashlight. I guarantee this is why we got the flashlight. We have to go in. Oh great, it gets its own little freaking loading screen. That's wonderful. Fantastic. It's taking a long time to load, too. Oh shit. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This just simply will not do. This is a bad decision. Yeah, seriously. Like, okay, I'm done. Let's go. I can't even see the fucking door. It's like right in front of me. <laughs> God. 
We are in the house of horrors. Let's go see Chad, everybody. Oh, look. Hi, Mr. Wolfie. How are you? <laughs> Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. Ah, oh, great. We're going to meet Mr. Winter himself. Great, even better. Even fucking better. I think all of us wish PT made it. That scared the bejesus out of me. Oh god. Oh! Callum! Leave me alone! Callum? Stop! I'm just scared and angry. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh my god. I wanna. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's not a normal thing that happens. Hold me, guys. Someone fucking hold me, please. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Um, where is he? Oh, God. What have you done with him? Don't leave me! Is this something I can read? Oh, fuck, no, it isn't. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Mommy? No. I don't wanna. Okay. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Mommy, behind you! No! <gasps> Fuck! Who was that? Don't believe them. <sighs> Where is my boy? Where is Daddy? Daddy's dead. You killed him. Don't leave me. Behind you. No. Leave me it. alone. There's a dude. I'm not looking behind me, no. Fuck you. Fuck you, kid. Please. Don't make me see. Oh god. I can't cry anymore. Oh boy. Um. Left or right? You decide. <sighs> right? Right. Please don't lead me to my demise. That's a dead end. So we gotta go left. Show yourself! I am so scared. That's why I'm walking really slow. Don't make me look at it. Okay, now left or right? Uh, 
Uh. Right. Show yourself. We got one right. Anyone else? Right once more. Oh god. <laughs> Given to me. Oh boy. Stop. Okay, I got it. Good job. I saw that coming too. What have you done with him? Okay, we're just going around the big fucking circle, aren't we? We're stuck in a maze, guys. I think. What the fuck is that? Oh shit. That's the that's the kid in the story whose eyes were stabbed out with the ice pick. Great. Wonderful. Show yourself. <laughs> A horrible mother. Where is he? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I... Oh, that way, I guess, right? Oh, into the mouth. Yeah, yeah. One little duck went out one day. be the way I'm moving because I'm going like this and I'm moving like that so sorry I'll try to be a little bit more fluid locked locked again hello also why did my light shut off my lights gone There's that doll again. Don't make me look at it. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Dawn. Watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. I could see that. Disconnect notice. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be dis or, or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Uh, if you believe that this is an error, call us. If you are unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Oh. Shit. Someone didn't pay the bills. A shocking true story. Hunger. The true story of the Donners. Jeez. Great. Hmm. 
messy bed. Are we in our house? I think so. Rubik's Cube. I could never do those. I love you from Callum. Yeah, this is our house. Mom and me in car. I don't think our car was blue. Is that a toilet? Is he sitting on a toilet? Oh, that's the dentist. It's probably the dentist. The wilting. You know, for being fucked up in the head, you read some pretty scary shit. Is it lagging for anybody else, or is everyone else okay? Just make it sure before I keep going. Alright. Okay, as long as it's fine for the majority of people. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, please don't let there be another issue. A lot of cigarettes lying around. Cigarettes and coffee. The shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum. Electricity bill, fix faucet. What's wrong with the faucet? Oh, that's what's wrong with the faucet. I can fix the faucet. If I can use the wrench on it. This is a really nasty place. Okay. That's some pretty raw chicken in there. of this is, but... <laughs> it's okay, Day. I'm scared, too. I need you to help me through this. Like, my head hurts. That's how tense I am. Oh, great. There's a television that's on in a red room. Lorraine, I received your letter and I am quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters, and now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you. I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking up old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I can't. I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier, and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again. Karen. Wait. I am so confused about what's going on. Is Karen the mom? Where's Lorraine the mom? And who's Lorraine? Like, who? I'm so confused. Miss Mallard. Ooh, thank you. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Car oh, Karen is... Oh, okay. Okay. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you've been using. Dispose any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time you are suffering a relapse, please make contact with your physician. We wish you continued good health. 
Dr. Spencer. Why is it just static? The fuck is this thing? Giant pacifier? A satellite thing? Dunwich Emergency Services. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Okay, you were right. So Lorraine is us, me. Uh, our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. She has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication. We have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing, and her employer Susie said that she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. Okay, so she's got a prescription, 50 milligrams dose. And then based on the advice from her doctor to increase the medication as needed. Okay. So that kind of gives a little insight why she needs pills. Miss Mallard, our inquiry into the estate of Dr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, are listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased's parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I'm not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. Wow. So her... The baby's daddy died, and then she can't even collect or claim anything because the parents don't even believe that that kid is his is their son's. Holy fuck! Uh oh, I'm going down again. Shit. Oh god, it's PT. We're going through it again. Going through it again. Same book. There's pills here though, that wasn't here before. The doll's head fell off. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I am so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day, working at the park, it gets worse. Like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guy is... I can't even read that. The guys relax and we laugh and we're, we're good people again. I don't want to be I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind but when this job is done we need to get out of this place we need to go back to the city where I can can't feel like this anymore I love you Donald PS I was thinking about names for boys and girls I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl oh this is from Don 
Oh boy. I can't read that. I guess that's the same. That's the same. What the hell is with the noise? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That is eerie as fuck. Ooh, there's something on this now. Ooh. Letters? Her. Huh. Weird. Okay. Seems the same. I don't know why I turn everything so slowly, but... More pills. Is that that radio or is it the TV? There's a doll here now. Oh, I see Callum. Don't leave me. Don't. Ooh. Okay, fine. Be that way, bitch. Jeez. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks, Zola Zolift prescription. Not Zoloft, Zolift. Remember, take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organize babysitter for Callum. Okay, this is still broken. There's boxes around here. I don't know what they're for, but there's boxes. Can't go in there. Want some wine, anybody? Anyone old enough to drink? Want some wine. Also, that chicken looks gross. Ugh. Close that fridge. Okay. Welcome back, Day. Is the TV gone? Oh, wait, no, it's still there. I received your letter. Oh, wait. We already read it, but now I didn't run away. Dad took me. Oh. Jeez. Where is my boy? It's still there. Jeez. I know, this is what happens when you fuck demons. Without protection, especially. Birth control, hello? Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. It's made me a happy carrot. Okay. It's made me a happy carrot. Uh, it's still about Donald's estate. Nothing's changed with that. Hooray, carrot! It's a spin off on Secret World's universe. I have never heard of it. Also, hello, Kitten Janae. We are onward to hell. That mother duck went out 
Oh, shut up about the duck. are getting evil up in this bitch. Oh, doll's head's just gone now. Bear's okay, though. Thank God. Oh, wait, the head's over here. The doll's head's over here. Drawers are ripped out. All the pills. Okay. Same thing. Um, bloody handprints on all the pictures, creepy music. Um, blood on the hat, a lot of blood on the hat. Her lie see her try her cry her why bye bye wow i'm dead oh great smoky room totally dead More pills. Hello, Sirens Kitty. I'm very scared right now. Milk, Zoloft prescription, cheese, Zoloft prescription, bread, prescription, butter, prescription, corn, prescription, potatoes. Remember, more pills. Tickets to Atlantic Island Park. Oh, God. Fuck. Sink's still broken. What's the smoke coming from? Where is the smoke coming from? It's coming from the door? boy. This is not cool. Aw. Sorry, kitten, Janae. Right now, I'm stuck in PT. I guess you could tell her that. didn't run away. Dad took me. Oh, letters ripped up now. Oh, I don't think I ever saw this one. The History of Solomon Island. I'm waiting for, like, the grudge girl to jump out of the screen or something. Oh, the door is open now. I don't even have to open it. I can just walk right down. <laughs> Happy carrot, everybody! Happy carrot! Oh. Damn. Oh, 
Okay, down again. Can only imagine it's gonna get so much worse now. Oh yeah. It's gonna get so much worse now. Shut up about the duck! Damn! Uh, oh no! Oh, this is taking a very bad turn. Oh man. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I'm playing this on the PC right now. Oh god. Look at that eyeball. Uh, oh, there's, there's dead babies in the bed. Shit. Great. Still bloody hat. Bloody hat. What have you done with him? Bye bye. Her cry, her why. See her try. Her lie. this. Oh, this is them together before Callum. It's really on the back. My two best friends, Don and Laura. That one's got a bottle of wine. That one's got pills for her head. And that one is holding a knife? That one's holding a knife. Okay. Still the same pills. Oh shit, we got a baby in the oven. Oh boy. Remember, you are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. The door is like... Wait. Why is there another fridge in here? Were there two fridges? I didn't notice that before. The sink is still broken. There's a head in the pot. Scared. That's the ice pick. It's definitely a bloody ice pick. I can't take it with me. I don't want to go in there. like I guess I gotta go in there I don't want to there's nothing behind me but now all the sound is replaced with this like this whatever this is this thing <sighs> all right 
Guess I'm going in. I'm stuck. I can't leave, guys. Oh. What the fuck was this about? What is that noise? What is going on? Shit. Oh. Okay. as well. I refuse to get rid of it. Oh god. Burning letters now. Miss Mallard, as we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you to be Bat shit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you are in no way sound of mind and body, and you are a danger to everyone around you. Please note that your only escape from this should be drugs. A shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can, as often as you can. That shit can only make your life better. In case there was any doubt, you are suffering a relapse and nobody cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Dr. Spock. Dunwich Medica? God, we've lost it, guys. We've lost it. We're fucking insane. Oh my god. Oh boy. It's so exciting. Also, where's the- okay, the door's there. I was gonna say, where's the door? Going down again. How many times are we gonna do this? No dolls hanging from the ceiling. That's a good thing, right? on the walls now. Look how much blood there is. Oh, bleeding. I'm sorry. Bleeding from the ceiling. Filling up everything. God. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy fuck. Forget Don, Dad, Kath, not him. Very scared. 
scared right now. Who was that? That's the girl who scared us. I think the one in the middle is the guy we found dead. I don't know who you are. Oh shit. What the hell is that? A rat? A dead rat, a bear. Nice pick. Give it to me! Oh, the one on the left is Don. Is that us? God. Do I even want to question it? Is it just gonna get worse? Oh, I didn't even check the TV. Sorry. Whoa. Different room now. We broke the curse. I think. Whoa. I didn't expect it to go down. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of the story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Oh wow, it's like our house on the other side. So I guess she's referring to the fact that her going crazy means she's the witch. Also, where did my flashlight suddenly go? Can I ask that? I suddenly don't have a flashlight anymore. You know, whatever. Kids broken today. It's been so long since I heard laughter, so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh, this boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my so on my slab. Is that from Mr. Winter? without sparkle. Eerie music is eerie. Oh boy. It's Hansel and Gretel. This is not going to be good. This looks great. 
Yes. Cal. Cal. Uh oh. Cal. Is he dead? Cal. Fuck. We are dead. About that fun time at the park with our kid, um, Calvin's dead. <laughs> the end. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. What's that supposed to mean? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. On a slab, and I drove an ice pick through his heart. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. That was intense. Holy shit. Oh my god. Wow. My head hurts. My shoulders hurt, like my neck and my shoulder area, because I'm all like tensed up. Like, I feel all crampy and stretched and. Yes, you did. Thank you, everyone. We got through this. Oh my god. Wow. That was a very different, interesting game. And you were never attacked once. It was just like a casual kind of walkthrough kind of game. Almost like a rail, but not really. See, she just needs a cat. You're right. You're right. Oh god. Less children, more cats. The park. Let's never go to the park again. <laughs> now when someone asks you, do you want to go to the park? You say, fuck no, fuck Chad the Chipmunk. <laughs> That's what you say.